Madam members of our executive, the Prime Secretary, Ministry of uh, Education and Sports, the coordinators of our schools and school athletes and bright other stakeholders present, invited guests, gentlemen of the meeting. The presentation of medals won both in academics and sports by these young men and women is very significant to the state government. Uh, particularly that they participated in the International Health Science Olympiad in India as well as the sports festival for secondary schools in Port Harcourt. Undoubtedly, this event constitutes an important milestone in the progress of educational and sports development under this administration. Uh, grassroots sports is what gives nations opportunity to catch their stars young and breed and groom them to become very successful sportsmen and women in the future. This ceremony is to give practical expression to our desire to promote science, education and sports at all levels of our educational institutions in the state. I've already demonstrated the importance we attach to the promotion of science and technology in particular by the creation of a Ministry of Science and Technology and the appointment of the Honorable Commissioner for Science and Technology for the first time in the history of COVID State. It is our belief that if Kogi State must develop fast, there is need to invest in the development of high-level technical manpower. It is hoped that with the Ministry of Science and Technology in place, this administration will be able to respond swiftly to the needs of the state in the field of science and technology. So I wish to heartily congratulate Master Cedric Bowen Jacob and George Oshagiri on their prize victory at the 7th International Earth Science Olympiad held in Mysore, India, which had done Kogi State and indeed Nigeria very proud. I also congratulate Master Jen Benjamin Akko on this impressive outing at the International Chemistry Olympia in Moscow. <laughs> the ingenious presentations of Shedrach and George at the competition in geology outclassed all others from 27 countries from across the continents of the world to prove to the rest of the technologically advanced countries that though Kogi State may be a small state in a developing country, we are no doubt the frontline intellectual force in the world of science and technology. <laughs> this underscores my belief that we can transform Kogi State. We have great minds and great potentials, and what it takes is determination, focus, and leadership. I will get to the promised land. So with young men and women like this, I'm very, very confident that the commitment of our dream will come in future. Let me also congratulate the 15 students of Kogi State who won medals at the 5th National Secondary School Sports Festival in Port Harcourt. The students, I was informed, performed exceptionally well in wrestling competition and uh, won medals to do our state proud. I wish to register my appreciation to the science teachers and sports administrators as well as wrestling coaches in our secondary schools for their relentless effort in promoting science education and sports in the state. If their commitment had been less than required, it would have been difficult for our students to measure up to the standards 
in all the national and international competitions at which they have all excelled. The policy of this government is to reward hard work and recognize excellence. If we must build a society of talents, then the few we have identified now must be encouraged as we go along. While the government is resolved to fulfill our obligations to these young, talented students, I wish to call on organized bodies, corporate institutions, and well-to-do individuals to establish funds or foundations for the development of our budding talents, most of whom spring from indigent homes. I have taken note of the dedication, industry, and courage of our schools employed to sponsor the students for both national and international competitions. I wish to assure you all that the government will continue to take full responsibilities for all entries and sponsorship for such competitions in the future. In line with our commitment to improving science education in the state, government is considering plans to provide sports facilities and equip science and productive technology laboratories in all our secondary schools. So at this point, I wish to direct the Commissioner for Education to write a letter of recommendation to the principals of the various secondary schools in the state for providing the leadership that produced these talented students. And as requested by the Commissioner for Education, I have announced the award of scholarship to the students. <laughs> to the students that did the state proud in my story, India and Moscow, as well as the students who won medals at the sports festival to pursue any science any science-related courses of their choice in any of the national institutions. And also those in secondary school to complete their secondary school education respectively. This scholarship is without prejudice to the bursary awards enjoyed by students of Kogi State already in tertiary institutions. Let me close by uh, announcing further cash awards as encouragement for the students. Those who won gold medals will get 20,000 naira each. The ones who got silver medals will get 15,000 each. And bronze medals will go home with 10,000 naira each. Thank you all. God bless you. Thank 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 you. Our principal, <laughs> the former president of the uh, uh, stand. Dr. Lawrence Sabine, the principal of St. Petersburg. Thank you for the leadership in science-based education. <laughs> so today, the whole state system is celebrating you. But how will you, hey, sorry, your colleagues, youth like you, the colleagues, um, my colleagues, I uh, advise them not to say anything. Uh, success is not good in the day. You know, start with step by step and um, it's work hard. I don't know where you can help them because actually this competition was due to my past efforts. I was not really prepared when I went for the state level due to my past efforts in geography. So this good. Yeah. The period of 
my school, my family, and my friends. Your phone? Check up, check up. Mention the name of your school. So what advice would you have for colleagues? Yeah, I have for them is that the outdoor game is very helpful. And they should not debate from them, they should not debate themselves from God. God is the best of their success. Your full name, sir. My name is Benjamin. And indirectly, what can you do? It's good. At the Jalice 6 years, good. Can perform like this. I pray that I will continue to work with her. With what the government has done this evening, I know and I'm convinced that other students follow My name is Dr. Susan Mendes of Scintillate International Modern School. Thank you.